Here's the project many of you have been waiting for. Project 12, The Crystal Set. There is a magic in hearing local radio stations without a battery to power the receiver. I'll build it, test it, and then try some modifications that may improve its performance. This is the diagram. The antenna is applied via a coupling coil. And of course with crystal sets, the antenna coupling is really critical. Some very simple designs just have a single coil and connect the antenna to the junction of the variable capacitor and the diode. But especially if you are in an area with multiple stations, that approach doesn't work because all the stations appear jumbled and selectivity is poor. Doing it at the MCG in front of 100,000 people. The coupling coil is often a bit better, but depending on the length of antenna you're using, you may be better off if you can tap the antenna down on the main tuning coil. That option is not provided in this project because of the use of a commercially made off-the-shelf coil. Anyway, we'll put it together and see what results are possible. These are the main components in the crystal set. The variable capacitor allows you to select the various stations. It's used in conjunction with this coil of wire that's mounted on a ferrite rod, which improves its effectiveness. The capacitors and the coil work together to filter through only the station you want to receive. The smallest component of the lot is this diode. It's a germanium small signal diode and that strips off the audio from the radio signals coming in and that audio signal is then fed to this earphone. This is a special type of earphone called a crystal earphone. It's not the same as the headphones that you use with your portable sound equipment. This type of earphone is very sensitive, which you need in a crystal set because there's no battery to power the signal. Also in this circuit is a capacitor that is connected across the crystal earpiece to shunt any unwanted radio frequency signals to earth. The most critical part in building the set is making sure the connections for the coils are correct. If they're not, then it won't function. The leads are supposed to be certain colours, but they're quite hard to distinguish. This one is blue, so I think there's some variations in the colours that the coils used. The most foolproof way of getting around that is to use a multimeter on a low ohms setting because you can differentiate between the larger coil and the smaller coil. The bigger coil here measured out at 9 ohms and the smaller winding around 1 ohm. It's important to make sure connections are good, especially as we're not soldering. And in this case they are. I'm measuring across the variable capacitor and you can see the low resistance of the main tuning coil. Now we've got the crystal radio set up my outdoor G5 RV antenna CQ, hello, CQ, hello, CQ. and this is the earth connected to a cold water tap. When I put moistened fingers across the earphone socket the audio cleans up. Earphones may vary, but this particular one benefited greatly from having the resistor connected across. This is reception with both the antenna and earth connected. I'm not using any audio amplifier and holding the earphone straight up to the camera's microphone. it produces very listenable and even loud audio at this location. 
just taken the earphone out of my ear, put it in a metal bowl, and I can still hear the audio from it. something that should not work with a crystal set. I've got an 8 ohm speaker connected directly to the earphone socket. Ideally you should use a transformer if the experiment's going to work at all because the output here is high impedance. Anyway you might just be able to hear audio from the speaker. And I repeat again, this is with no external power, no external amplifier, purely driven by the energy coming from the radio station, up to 50 kilometers away. Something else I'm a bit curious about is the 10 nanofarad across from the diode to the earth. That is a higher value than I would expect in this part of the circuit. Since we're talking about very high audio impedances, at least if you're using the crystal earpiece, you want a capacitor with a low value. Otherwise, you start to attenuate the audio. So the next thing I'll do is I'll take that capacitor out and see if that changes reception. Then I might try a lower value of capacitor, like this one nanofarad that I would expect in that position of the circuit. Capacitor connected, capacitor removed, connected, removed. It may be hard to tell, but I found the volume slightly higher without the capacitor at all. Just putting that one nanofarad capacitor in made no difference compared with no capacitors. Strictly speaking, you would have it in to shunt any RF down to ground. But having the 10 nanofarad, as specified, was slightly detrimental due to reduced volume. Here I've got the antenna directly connected to the recommended antenna connection and the earth as recommended in the book. Kandekar, who specializes in the scientific analysis of artworks and has been doing so Hear from you. Start. It follows news the lockdown of Greater Sydney. We've seen quickly from West Australia. Anyone that has experience comes up to have a dip and we've come back. Regulator. The regulator has Ryan is director of the Strauss Centre for Conservation and Technical Studies at the Harvard Art Museum. There's so much happening in the city based for Victoria's maternity services. Amid last week, the group which attacked. And... The set was working, but the stations were all jumbled together and it was hard to separate them. If you are in an area with many stations and have that problem with poor selectivity with the antenna and earth connected, one approach is to loosen the coupling between the antenna and the crystal radio. Since we can't easily adjust the inductance in this design, and there are no coil taps to vary things, you could instead try putting a series capacitor. This is 100 picofarad in series with the crystal set's specified antenna connection.
It's four o'clock. Good afternoon. I'm Tony Tardio. A new advertising campaign will begin on Sunday to encourage more people to have the COVID vaccine. It coincides with the decision to bring forward one million Pfizer doses from mid-July. Thousands of people will be in hospital. As you can hear, the selectivity now is far superior, with stations able to be separated. Meeting of National Cabinet, but Prime Minister Scott Morrison says it's not a call. Something else to try is to connect the antenna to the junction of the diode, variable capacitor and inductor and not use the small coupling inductor at all. But for good selectivity, you may have to use an coupling capacitor. I tried 10 picofarad. Time to call an exceptional personal injury law firm. Henry Carrison Associates. We'll help you get all the benefits and compensation you deserve. Uh, my family that um, can, and there's going to be no crowds at the Olympics. So, the time I think having a really strong community around you is key. I make sure that I have really strong elders who I seek guidance from. My friends are all really supportive and strong in their values. And in the US and wanting to free up that space. Yeah. Cost of your relax at the indoor cafe or enjoy your refreshments outside. If you don't have an earth connection, you can sometimes get quite good results with just an antenna connection to the top end of the tuned circuit near where it joins the diode. Just see the green wire in the top left, which leads to the antenna. But I found that I could get quite a bit of increase in signal with just a small counterpoise or even just touching the earth connection. This is a demonstration with the fold-up mat that I described several videos ago. Up his first camera whilst serving in the Navy, and he's now held over 300 exhibitions all over the place, thither and yon, and he's been published in more than a thousand publications. Say, Biscetti, when did you get over it? How did you teach it? Does representing your country mean something? Regardless of whether or not you're on a desert island with no one watching or blitzing it in front of 100,000 fans. Love to hear your take this afternoon, 1300 303 468. If you would like to join the conversation, that's my number actually. But if you'd like to bring the number and wanted to be very private. If you're building an improved version of the Funway 1 crystal set, this is what I would do. All parts except the 100 picofarad capacitor are supplied in the kit. Most notable improvements include the 47k resistor, which was actually needed to properly hear stations with the crystal earpiece that I had. I'd also reduce the 0.01 capacitor down to 0.001, that increase the volume or even leave it out. And also I'd have more choices as regard to antenna connections. That will give you better sensitivity or selectivity and you might need a different selection depending on which station you wanted to pick up. The Dick Smith Funray 1 Crystal Set has been a fun project. If you're interested in building more, then check my website, vk3ye.com, for ideas on others.
This was a fundamental discovery about the inner workings. The census is coming this August. It's when every stat tells a story. Like population data, which tells of the state services, the water to support Peter became the only veterinarian to win a Nobel Prize for medicine. Yes. At Hockley, in their challenge for getting through life, you know, and giving them some hope and inspiration. You went over to Canberra as, as part of giving you vouchers. Tuesday, the 13th of July. And what better place to discover something special? A filmmaker said to me, oh, Mum, do we have the red dresses? And I went, you're the diluted orange juice. You're next morning to Mazda. Robert's jeans, track. Forbes set, a, set up this, this conservation centre in 1940. Terry Brown and the Bang and Rackheads, so 1300, the whole uh, or you can ring the real number, which, which is 1300 Colin is in Avenal. Hi, Colin. And G'day, what would you like to say? I'd like to say that the, the government would have known that quantitative easing and that fiscal and monetary policy was going to drive on up these, these paintings. They had a, a delicate significant, which I just was so sensitive with the whole brand. Representatives invested in real estate before they took all yeah, well, uh, I don't have any evidence of that, Colin. And I, so, are you talking the about cycle. the release of funding such as job keeper at the start of the pandemic? No, no, the um, makes uh, it or you're doing it at the MCG in front of 100,000 people. Um, you are saying we are Australia. Uh, I am Australia. I am in some ways representing that whole beautiful nation today before the world. Doesn't that mean something anymore, regardless of who's watching? It does mean behind us, and it's all Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. And, it, and it's, there has to be a theatre about Tennis is an amazing sport because they have these grand slams where lots of other sports do not. And I do desperately hope that we get to be in play at some point. The, the debate in tech, Cole, if, if I had the same talent as, as Nick did, that's exactly how I would view the situation. But like Kate's saying, he's just different and he views the world differently. And I think we've, we've, be, just, we've got to learn to accept that. And this isn't bashing Nick Curios, you know. Like, he's an exciting something they might have evolved decided about you know, carrying the flag. You know, the first indigenous flag bearer to walk into an opening ceremony. It's an, obviously an, an absolute honour and a, a massive privilege that's so iconic. Um, it's hard to wrap my head around. But as a I proud Gugara, Nagiaga and Dawara Meriam man, it, it is incredible. It's special, um, a very passionate moment. I can feel in my bones when I'm just talking about this stuff. My heritage, my culture, who I am, and the connection I have to our country, Australia, is so strong and, and runs so deep. This is very special and 